Hey, welcome to the Honey and Harry Show. I'm Honey. And I'm Harry. And today I have my husband's family um, in. And this past week, well, I guess it was past weekend, we went to um, Aunt Donna's house and made um, fig cookies. Um, we had such a good time. But um, today I'm our guest is Aunt Donna and Angela. And they're going to tell us all about how to make the fig cookies, how it got started. Gosh, it started generations ago. I know they were just telling me that um, a few minutes ago. Um, but it started with my husband's great, great, great grandmother. Two greats. Grandmother. No, just one great. Just one great. Great grandmother. And so, yes. and I know his grandmother was Mama Lena. Yes. Right. And she originally had three sisters. So it was four of them together, yes, right? Them. So that your grandmother no, has. She had four sisters. No, it was her and three others. Yes. Her and three others. Yes. So, yes. her she passed, right? My grandmother was Here, Rosie. Rosie, and then there was Catherine, which we called Aunt Cat. Aunt Cat. So here's and then, here's a picture about Mama. That, yeah. yeah, that's a picture of uh of the three of them. Um, and tell us who than, which one is. And I know so, Mama Lena. Okay, so next to her in the middle is we called her Mimi. Mimi. But okay. She, her she was Marie, and then the other side is. Aunt Cat, we called her Aunt Cat. Her name okay. was Catherine, and okay. then my grandmother Rosie's name. Okay, okay. So, so yeah, how did this? How did this get started? Um, who actually started it? Um, we, I, I don't, I actually don't know. Mm -hmm. All I can remember as a little girl was my mama, my grandma, go and make fig cookies. Mm -hmm. Children were not allowed to go. Isn't and, that crazy? Yeah, no, no kids. They come back. Remember the old um, Coke boxes, the little flats? Yes, okay, I do. That's what the cookies came home in. No way. And they shared with their family. So um, some of the um, granddaughters, after they got old enough, were able to go help. But other than that, it was just them. Well, I'm they so, yeah, very, that's crazy. They're so strict. They were very strict. You had to be asked to be in. Don, I don't know when you you got asked to be in. I think um, I just jumped in. You ju <laughs> so Aunt Donna couldn't go because you were a daughter-in-law? Right. Right. Yeah. And they I were mean, and they were missing out. Yeah. They were missing well, out on her. When they first started making fig cookies, they didn't make very many. No. Oh, really? They were very, you had to... They would go get them out of the closet because they would store them in the closet. In the closet. And they would go get them and put a few on a plate. And you didn't have many cookies. Not like we have now, you know. Oh, yeah, because we gorge ourselves. <clears throat> yeah. I've been eating my cookies anyways every right. day. But, um. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's, and, and, I, and also, I think, was it you that told me, I know when we were making cookies, you were saying how they only used certain colors back then. They had certain colors, yes. And the fig cookie had to be a certain size. And they had to be perfect. My mm -hmm. great grandmother watched over them, and they had to be perfect. She was Mama so, Man, Mama Amanda. Mama yeah. Amanda. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they had to be a be certain perfect. size, half moon shape, with little snips in the top yeah. of them. I've seen them like that before. Mm -hmm. um, my yeah. parents' friends, the Canatellas, they're yeah. Italian, yeah. and um, I've seen them, and they make them like. Yeah, yeah we used to snip them at the top, but it takes. It's we so make, long, well, but they don't make, so make you make a yeah, ton. Yeah, we make so many of them. Yeah, yeah. people always <laughs> comment on my, when I post, how, like, that's amazing how many y'all make. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. It's a well, lot. We have a lot of help, too. Oh, absolutely. So whose house was it originally, you, you don't know whose house it originally, or did they switch? Well, I don't know if, if Mama Amanda made them with her family before. Okay. I have no clue. Because they were and, from Italy, right? The, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Generations before, right? right. Yeah. Straight yeah, from it. I think there's a Canazara. There's a Canazara, Italy, I believe. It's, oh wow! And I don't know if that's yeah, where their family that. came from. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sure. And they might not say it like that, but yeah. it's you know it's spelled almost the same, I believe. Okay, so that's where it originated <laughs> mm -hmm. from, and yeah. then when they moved here, yeah. like all you know, everybody, figured, everybody's yeah. an immigrant, you know, yeah. pretty well, much. We, we yeah. never asked when you know when they were around. You never asked where they came from, you know. Yeah, well, you know what's so crazy? When I saw the old pictures, I know Jill had given me the old pictures. I was looking at it, and Mama, Mama Lena's house isn't there anymore, mm -hmm. right? No, it's gone. And I was like, my gosh, they were having to put all those cookies in that little den, mm -hmm. and, you know, it was crazy. They had tables in the living room, 
they had tables everywhere with cookies on them. Mm -hmm. But it, like I said, it wasn't a ton of cookies. And then there were, she had five, right? Five granddaughters. Mm -hmm. But one of my aunts, I don't remember her going. It was my mom um, and three other cousins. And they they got to go at some point. I was probably 20 or 21 when I got to go. But at that point, my great-grandmother wasn't living anymore. Oh, no. No, she wasn't living anymore. So, so you never got to make the cookies no, with your grandmother? No, I got to make them with the four sisters, though, my four great aunts. Oh, that's nice. Your great yeah. aunts. Okay. Yeah. So, and you weren't. I didn't so by start. then, you should have been. Well, I, I did. But, there. but when they got older, they just couldn't do everything. Yeah. So I would go to Miss Lena's, which is my mother in law, and I would go and help her mix all the figs because that takes a few hours. You got to grind them, you know, and everything and mix them. And she would have them ready for the next day when they came to make fig cookies at her house. Crazy. So, Dad, I think we have some pictures of the old. Um, yeah, that, there's Mama Lena's house. Yeah, so. and that's mm -hmm. her. That's her in up in the right corner. And can you see, who are some of those? Is okay. that, are you in there? I'm at, I'm in the bo the bottom. Okay. In the back, in the gray shirt. Okay. And then there's um my cousins. They're twins. In the front with the two red. Di I, um, Diana's on the right by me. Diane's on the other side. And then that's my mom, Teresa, in the back. Okay. And then... At the top is Diana, Diana, Diana again, and my mom, and I think that's Tina. Is yeah, that Tina? Yeah, that's yeah, Tina. Di yeah, that's um, Diana's daughter, Tina. And Mama Lena. Mm -hmm. and, and, oh, yeah. Mama, and her. And, the, and that's all the cookies in her. That was her den, right? Yeah. Her living room, Yeah, because that's, that's the sofa and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. where they used mm -hmm. to put the tables at. Yep. Yeah, so it would be hard to make all the cookies like and y'all do now. Oh, you know, yeah. I mean, do we do them in my outdoor kitchen, so we have lots of room. It's nothing but so a big So, yeah, that room. was one of the questions that I was like, how in the world? Because, like, we go to your house now, right. and it's unbelievable, the, the oven that y'all use. But how did y'all cook all those? It was hard. We have a convection oven now that we borrow from a friend. Mm -hmm. He brings it in, and we use it, and it doesn't take very long to bake cookies. But we used to, we had an old oven from my mother-in-law's house. We'd set it up in the shed part the oven in the shed and my oven in the kitchen so we had three ovens going and it would take forever to bake them oh i can't even imagine and i mean sometimes we finish pans, at five o'clock after pans yeah. after pans waiting to go in the oven right well okay so i wanted to ask so mama lena of course had the six boys yeah. right so six yeah. boys so did any of those daughter-in-laws Besides you, really get involved in doing? Not really. No. I mean, they all came once in a while. Once you know. in a while, but they yeah. didn't take the like. No, no, so and were... I don't know why. You know, they just they did. They they've all come and made them one year, but you know they they haven't come back. You know. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, well, that's is. why. That's it's a, it's lot, a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It is, yeah, and you love to cook. So yeah, yeah, yeah you're a good I do cook. Love to cook. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, is there anything else that you can think of that? Um, that Go ahead. No, no, Eddie, no, and like with the they sisters. used to always cook a spaghetti. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and Nina, they, she always, she had spaghetti. She had um, cauliflower with cheese was one of her favorite things. She really? She always had that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can, may, you may remember the rest of the stuff. Maybe well, a pea she, salad they might have. Yeah, because she liked, yeah, they she cook, liked all kind of Yeah. And still to stuff. today, Donna cooks a Cooks I cook spaghetti. a spaghetti and meatball. Yeah, and, and look, and I'm so appreciative that you do. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know my husband was so sad that he did not come, and he was wanting that spaghetti. I mean, yours. He should have come. Oh, my gosh, they're so good. I mean, that's such a great tradition, though. You get to come out and be with family. Yeah. And um, I know for me, I've never experienced anything like that with family. So that yeah. was really, it's really nice to cook with your, it's different. And with all the women. Yeah. There's such like a bonding that goes yep. on, and very few men participate. Yeah, except for Uncle Nookie. Well, he he's, he's the a, oven he's the oven man now. He's the oven man. He's the oven man. He is the oven man. Yeah. And, and I mean, and like your so my granddaughter got to meet your granddaughter. Yeah, and that would have never that happened. That never, and like no. we get, yeah. to, I got to yeah. meet you, and I love all that because yeah. those are things that like I feel like nowadays. All this is just going away. It is. And it's... Families don't get together like they They don't. To. And, you know, I know Jill back there, you're going to have to, like, take your mom's place 
God forbid, you know, just keep it going. You got to keep it. We got to keep it going oh, yeah. because yeah. that's what's wrong with the world. I think right. it's this, right. you know, the, the traditions. Yeah. The traditions are going away, and um, and it's so so interesting to hear about how you know the sisters all started that, and it was so strict, and the kids couldn't come, and I could see like. If you're in a smaller space. Well, they were. Now, when Mama Amanda did it in her house, it was a small house. Yeah. And so you couldn't have many people because you needed table areas to put the cookies. Well, I think know. about my house. There's yeah. no way we could do what we did yeah. over there. In your, and you have the best kitchen workspace. Yeah. To, I mean, it's not in your home. It's behind your house. Right. And it's amazing. But nobody has that yeah. usually to do that. So right. you can do so much. Um, but yeah, so that that's really cool. Is there and any... Before we before we started at Donna's, after Aunt Lena's house, we went to Jill's house. Oh, so yeah, Jill. A, yeah, we okay. did a few years at Jill's house Okay. before we went to Donna's. Okay. Yeah. Well, when we yeah. built the kitchen, it just was such a... It was a big help. It was a big it. area that you could, you know, Well, everybody could spread out in it. And I know Pearl and Lindsay and Peanut and all my kids... They're meeting their little cousins that they wouldn't have met normally because it's so hard to, again, everybody's so busy. Yeah, I mean, we need to stop all these kids' activities so <laughs> much and let the kids just be kids and yeah. play and do all yeah. that. Because yeah. it's, I mean, I'm, I think Pearl probably had the time of her life. And they are day. like great, great, great grandchildren. Yeah. So it's like. And I know those grandmas back. are smiling, mm -hmm. smiling down. And every one of them cooked the best spaghetti. Oh, I, I mean, Every one I know. Of them. I know. I mean, <laughs> Every one. and look, I have cooked, I cook a meatballs and spaghetti and it's nothing like what you mean. It's good, but it's not like that. What I just ate this past weekend. It's so good. Well, is there anything else you can add for the old days you could think of? Nothing. All I can, all I can remember is them, all them cookies, all, all those them cookies, cookies and how much fun we had. It was all cousins, and um, and we miss everybody that that's not here anymore. Oh my you know? gosh, I know that has to be so we, hard. Oh yeah, we we miss them a lot. I know. I mean, when yeah. when uh, Miss Lena, my mother in law, when she was in the nursing home, we would go get her. Oh, okay. To come and make cookies with us, her and Aunt Cat was still alive, and she would come, and we'd get both of them, and they'd sit down at the table, you know, and. Cut cookies and put them on pans and stuff. So yeah, and they still boss us around. Tell us, yeah, they are too fat. <laughs> yeah, they're too fat. fat. Were they really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And gosh. so they learned from their mama, and she liked them just so. Yes. But ours aren't just so. We no, we just... make them straight. She used to have that little curl with the little snips. Well, this year, I don't know if you were there yet. I said I'm gonna play Mama Amanda this right. year. I heard and you said that. I'm gonna be strict. <laughs> So we're going to have them perfect cookies. And they're not perfect. It, it was so funny. They're not they didn't perfect. all turn out perfect, but they, were, they still were beautiful. Yeah, but you know what, though? They would it's, be proud it's, of us. They would be proud because, you know, you have you were, because they couldn't include all those people. They didn't have space, right? Yeah, right. Yes. And I don't think it was an ugly thing. I think it was just no, no space. But, like, y'all welcome everyone. I remember, I mean, I, I even texted Jill. I was like, do you mind if my godchild comes? You know, from Mandy, but such a unique thing. And she said, of course. Course, but she ended up she ended up not being able to come. Yeah, and yeah. you know it's well, just see, so. We had people this time that just wanted to come see us make cookies. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's, that's happened before. Yeah. where somebody no. just wanted to come yeah. watch us. No, it's amazing. They want to make their own. Oh, and I yeah. love. I mean, people see it on on Facebook when I post. I'm like, yes, we did all. This. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Taking all that yeah. credit, but it is. It's such a cool thing. All right. Well, um, thank you, Angela. Angela's gonna um. We're going to have like a little intermission for a second because we have another guest. This is our first time doing a different guest. But thank you. Do you have, I mean, anything else you would want to add? I don't know. I, I mean, you so. added so think, much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I really I'm do. I'm sure there's a ton more. When you think about it. But yeah. look, and, and here's think, the thing. Oh, like, I, I should have said this or I should have said that. Uh, and just, I just yeah. appreciate you coming. Yeah. You came all You're the so way welcome. over. No, and, you know, and educating us so much. And it's really cool, like. Like all this family history, so not everybody has family history like this. Right, no. they just right. don't. It's special. It's really special. It is. And I feel like, even though I'm, it's you know Troy's family. I feel like y'all are my family. I mean, it's been yeah, yeah, yeah you've been for, in there a long time. I mean, I've been are. in there for a long time, but yeah. I mean, I just 
love, I love, I love everybody so much. And I, you feel the love. You feel very loved yeah. when you walked in, when you walk in we all have an the awesome time. Family. You, yeah. I mean, y'all do. Y'all have an amazing, mm-hmm. amazing. I, I say it all the time. I tell Troy that all the time. I, I'm gonna cry thinking about it. But y'all do. Y'all have such a. I mean, like. When I when my daughter got sick, it was just amazing. The people that I mean, how it just amazing. But anyways, thank you for coming. You're so welcome. I really do appreciate it. You can go take Jill's spot. Okay. I said, no, you don't have to leave yet. We'll be right. guest i have jill who is aunt donna's uh daughter so um so jill and i are around the same age right we're about of, course. The, of course we're about the same age and we'll um, say our age, and, we, yeah. and you know always always love jill um and she's the one that's kind of um called her and my girl started going um to do the cookies and all that um but anyways welcome Thank you. Thank for you for coming. Us. Thank you for having us. Oh, absolutely. So, mate, what can you add? Um, well, we built our house in '02, and so we started doing cookies at my home then. Yeah, that's, that's which was a little bit yeah. larger. Um, and so, but I only had one oven, and so um, I contacted a friend that has a grocery store in the area, and he allowed us to come cook in his convection oven once they finished baking the breads for the store. He allowed us to come and cook in the store and finish up mm-hmm. our cookies there. So I actually was like the gopher when I first started helping. I was running yeah. here, running there, getting this, getting that. From um, oven to oven. Oven to oven. I'm not one that likes to sit there and roll. I don't mix the dough. I'll cut sometimes if they need me to cut. I'm timing everything in the oven. And then, so we did my house for a couple of years, and then we went to mom's house. And so at that point, I was the one running between... The oven outside, the oven in the house, and the shed oven. That is insane. And trying to keep everything on time, you know, and not burn the cookies. We have burned some. Yeah, we have burned some in the past. Really? Y'all have it, like, it's magic now. I showed up at the right time. With that that convection oven, it's unreal. It's unbelievable. Oh, in about 10 minutes, we can cook five trays, big trays. Uh, That's about 14 minutes. Oh, 14 14, minutes. 14 minutes. Yeah. So, Dad, pull up some of those pictures, like when Lindsay and I came. We, so, last year was the first year that um, I came. I, it was the first time I got to experience this. Um, and this is at Aunt Donna's house. Um, well, it's not her house. It's her house in the back of the house. <laughs> it's in a shed. <laughs> well, it's not a shed. It's, it's an outdoor it's, kitchen. It's an outdoor kitchen. Well, it's really it's a, a gathering like, place. How about this? It's like a small home. <laughs> <laughs> It's really nice. I love it. It's like just cozy. It's like a little cabin in the back. Um, but anyway, so Jill, why don't you explain like what I'm doing with Pearl? Okay, what Lori's doing, they had rolled out some of the dough there and they're placing the figs. And we found we had a hard time over the years being able to like press the figs out in an even yeah, steady we motion. To, we used to use a cookie thing, yeah. but that was so hard to 
mash it to get right. them out. So then we went to Ziploc bags, and they pretty much work the best because we can refill the tops and snip the bottoms. And so you're just pulling out the um, figs onto the dough there. Um, and then the finished product is on the table, and some of those are iced, and some of those have yet to be iced. Okay, yeah, so that's Pearl and Lindsay. They were, the kids love to do the icing. Yes. And y'all are so nice um, letting the kids just get in there and start working and icing, and, you know, because they're not, they're messy for sure. <laughs> I don't know, I was pretty messy this year. I dropped this, how many times did I drop it? <laughs> I'm not going to say, but I did help wipe up the floor. After. I know, <laughs> I dropped the knife. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me. But anyways, um. So, yeah, so, Dad, move it to maybe this year where we started. See, okay, so what is this lady's name? I love her. She's Sandra. So, so I love, she just mixes that dough. Mm -hmm. So She's Aunt, one of Mom's friends. She's one of my friends, and okay. she's an Italian. So, they, in their family, they used to make fig cookies, too. Really? But over the few, last few years, she's been coming with us and making fig cookies because she doesn't have a whole lot of family left. So, you know, Aww. there's. But the return thing is, is that she makes me pina latas. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -uh. <laughs> that's another little cookie that and she'll Italian make. Wait, cookie. wait. So that's a cookie. Yeah, it's just a, a fried dough with and then sugar, it's, it's cooked sugar on top, and it's my favorite. I probably would but be. But Jill doesn't too. like figs. Though. Yeah, I don't. Eat, I don't even eat the fig cookie. You don't. No, and Angela didn't eat them at first either, but she likes Angela, them. Angela, you didn't hey, eat I them didn't, either. I didn't used to eat them no. when we first started. I still I don't like eat them. Fig. I'll taste them every year. But to I like see, them. Maybe my taste buds are going to change one day. And you still don't like them. I wish I didn't. I like no. them now. I didn't used to like them, but I like them Really? Now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And over there, that's Michelle. So that is my sister-in-law. Yeah. With my daughter. And um, that's... Um, They're putting coloring in the icing. Icing, yes. Yes. Okay. So, Dad, is there another one? Okay. Here's yeah. some. So explain what's going on here. So is that is that your sister, Yeah, Aunt that's Donna? my sister. That's Audrey. Okay. Yeah. But that's the dough. After we make the dough, that's that we put it in a little pile. So you pick it up and then you... Roll it you with roll the rollers, it out. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about those rollers, because I've never seen those Those rollers. are Pampered Chef rollers. And those are the best. Best. They don't the stick on them. And um, they're yeah. easy. You don't need a big rolling pin. You know, they you are the best rollers ever. So that's mm -hmm. Pampered Chef, because I was yes. like, I meant to ask where y'all got those from. Mm -hmm. I can help you out. I'm happy. You're going to, well, then I'm coming yeah. to your house for the party. <laughs> um, I do. And like, you know, and this is the other thing I noticed, like, it doesn't, y'all, there's nothing that has to be fancy about all this. Oh, no. Like, no, no, like no, you don't no. have to have a certain thing. Like, the, the Ziplocs work amazing. You yes. have to have those rollers, so I do must yes. say. Yeah. You have to yeah. have that. Um, and, and the next picture, that's Dil that's Jill's That's my grandson. That's grandson. Her, yeah. yeah, he decided he was going to join us for a little while, and he really enjoyed. He loves to cook and bake. I love and that. And so he really enjoyed doing that, and he's fixing to be uh, nine. And he loves fig cookies. Yes, um, and he loves fig cookies. And see, they cut them with scissors. That's, yes. I was surprised when I saw that, that Well, but we them. used to cut them with knobs. Yeah. I mean, we just found a way to, you know, make things go faster. easier, you, I smoother, mean, they're faster. I know Angela, I know we can't see you, but you were, she was on that table um, that's her in the background on the first yeah, with the picture. Hat. Yeah, the hat, and she yeah. she was, you know, the right. ones I was bringing over that were all messed up. I think she was fixing. <laughs> she was fixing. Yeah, them. once they get to the table where they get snipped, they um sometimes if the the dough's really thick or if they shrink up, yeah, they'll have oh. to roll them out. Oh yeah, she, make them she was fixing yeah. a lot yeah. of them. I yeah. saw her. Yeah, yeah, I saw you fixing so over there. At that point, then they go to the pan. Um and uh, yes, I do not like fig cookies. Yeah. <laughs> so then they go to the pans, and I mean you have to put them like seam down because if you put them seam up, then they're gonna bust open. So I mean you have to pay attention to everything that we're doing whenever we you know doing this. And, and you it, see, she's she's just putting the cookies on the sheet, and she's watching what she's doing. Catherine. Right. Yeah. That's so that's daughter your daughter. That's my daughter-in-law. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. yes. That's Wes's uh, yes. wife. Wes's wife. Yes. Okay. And, and they came from Lake Charles to do. And I don't think yes. she eats the cookies. She doesn't eat the cookies. Wes loves them, Wes so loves she them. comes for Wes. And we, and I saw Wes open up a can of what was that? Was that blueberry? Oh, blueberry. At the end, I don't. For me, I don't like the fig cookies. So that they was do, so sweet. Well, they do apple, apple filled some for me, and then of course Wes this year wanted blueberry filled. So we did blueberry. And so we did both. That was so nice. End, that so. was so nice. All right, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there, there you See, are, Angela, and that's yeah. your daughter. Yeah, that's, that's Angela. That's, that's Kristen. Her, that's yeah. her daughter. And then that's Catherine, my daughter-in-law. Catherine. And then in the other picture, that's uh, Peanut, Courtney, and Pearl, and they're um. Putting the filling in, I think it was what it looks yeah. like. They're putting the filling in. And mm -hmm. the first picture is the figs that are in the pan that we grind. So what a lot of people don't before. know is two days before, mom and dad have done this since we started doing it. They have to, well, actually in the summertime when figs are ripe, 
Mm-hmm. People will give mom figs. We don't have fig trees. People yeah. will bring over figs, and she cooks them down. I have a really good friend that has a really good tree. And last year, I think she had... Not this past year, but like the year before, year before we had, she gave mom like 10 gallons of figs. Right. So and of that, them. they all have to be cooked down. Cleaned. Right, stemmed, cleaned and cooked. Stemmed, cooked. So a lot of prep goes into this mm. like that people don't even see. Yeah, right? we just, right. see, when I show up, it's, every, all, it's, it's all done. All it's like, just go squeeze the stuff and yes. roll it and dice in it. I mean, I mean, you know, so Like yeah. in the fig mixture, you, I mean, you've got pecans, you've got raisins, you've got dates, you've got honey. We put orange, orange zest, zest in them because that's what the recipe calls. We for. don't know why some of these, these yeah. things are in the recipe, but they are like pepper. Black pepper. Yeah. We don't know why, but it was on the recipe from Mama Amanda, so we just put black Isn't pepper in Isn't that crazy? All right, Dad, is there another? Oh, there. So there's oh, the, oven. Dad. Yeah, that's the oven. That's the oven, that's and that's my oven. dad. And he does do oven duty also. Yeah. Um. He, You know, we got to turn them when they're in there because that convection oven blows heat, and so it you got to spin them around. some of them. So you just yeah. got to spin them around at seven minutes so that they um, all brown nicely. Okay. So, yeah. So he's a big help, too, because he's man's oh. the oven. Oh, now. he's a huge. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's a huge help. But he loves fig cookies, yes. so don't worry. He gets, I his, <laughs> he gets his reward. And what I remember being young, like, <laughs> the first few times I did help at Momo's house or whatever, my dad is one of six. And so the men would literally come out of the woods. And, like, um, Aunt Marie's husband and Aunt Kat's husband, like, they would come at lunchtime. They would eat their lunch. And then by that time, we were putting icing on the cookies. And so they had their dessert, too. But, of mm-hmm. course, there was a cake or two always waiting. Yeah. But um, a lot of times, my dad, some of the brothers would come out, and they would get fig cookies to take back to the camp. Mm-hmm. Of course they would. For everybody to have a little They sample. show up at the perfect time. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Men always showing up at the perfect time, yeah. huh? Yep. Okay. Yes. And so... What, so, Dad, like, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. So, that's some of the finished products. And so, what we try and do at the end, um, you you can't layer them while they're wet because they're all stick. So, as soon as we can, we start uh, putting one layer, and we do these aluminum pans. Um, and then, we typically leave, what, about three layers at the end of the, the fig cookie making day. So, that's me and Kristen, Angela's daughter, and we're putting those in there. The other medium middle picture is just the cookies. And the top picture is and my dad. Had, and we had like three tables of Oh, yeah. Cook, you know, there. No, there was four tables. Four tables yeah. full four of cookies. Four tables full, full of cookies. cookies. Yeah. And see, in the background, you can see the trays. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Yeah. Right. And so that's my dad in the upper picture on the right, then me, and then Lindsay, Peanut, and Laurie. So, and then the bottom picture is my cousin Terry, and she always comes to help. She does. She was man in the icing with the little yeah, girls. Yeah, she made all the icing. Oh, this no, year. she was having. And that's her and her daughter Elena. And then this was the first year that Harper and Riley oh, okay. came, and they're twins. And so they came, but they slapped a little icing on, but they preferred to play outside with Pearl and um, Sophie. And oh James. yeah, they yeah. were all having oh, yeah. so much oh, yeah. fun. Yeah. And who was who's the lady back there too? There's another lady. That's, That's Monica. Monica. She's Monica, a good she's friend. so she's nice. The, she's the lady her. that has she's the, the fig lady. She's the fig yeah. lady. Oh, she's the fig lady. <laughs> yes. And she was also brought the banana dessert. Yeah. Yes. yes. That looks like I'm banana telling cheesecake is what she brought. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tell you from living in Baton Rouge, I was like. Oh, who went to Ambrosia? No, nobody went to Ambrosia. <laughs> she did that. I'm like, yeah. and it was better than Ambrosia. Sorry, Ambrosia, it was. It was just really good. <laughs> is that okay to say? I don't know, but it it really was. All right, Dad, is there another one? Oh, here we go. So that's the whole thing. Tell them about the meatballs. That's the whole we All eat right, lunch. so Mom makes the meatball and spaghetti, and of course we have to make it a day before because it's just Look. too much going on that day. So for three days, she goes nonstop. Um, for three so she days. Makes all the meatballs and the sauce and the next picture. And let me back up. Because with the meatballs, mom does the meatballs and we ball spaghetti there. And everybody else just brings a side dish. Right. Whatever you want to bring, whatever. Angela makes this awesome cabbage, cabbage casserole. Oh. oh, that was so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was very good. Very, like, very good. I wish I had it right now. It was so good. <laughs> yeah. And then behind mom and dad's outdoor kitchen is... A pasture, and we have cows and stuff, and so the kids always like to come play with the cows and the horses and call them to the fence. So wait, I gotta tell you, that is your cows. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. And y'all had a pony, and I didn't yes. put the picture of the pony, but Wes went out there, and Pearl and your granddaughter was out there, and Sophie, Sophie and they were standing up on the little fence, and Wes, I mean, Wes called them, and they they oh, yeah. they, oh, yeah. they oh, yeah. came, and they just all started running. They were like, Oh my god! 
gosh, you know, they were having so much fun. They loved it. Yeah. And then the next one's the golf cart because the kids kind of got tired of doing the cookies. And yeah. so they jumped on the golf cart and James was chauffeuring them around. Um, and that's my other two little grandkids are on the golf cart in the front with him. And then that's Pearl and Sophie and... Oh, that's... Is that um, Caroline? I think that... No, that's not Caroline. That was... Is that Cindy? Chucky's Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's Camille. Camille. That's Camille. Cindy, yeah, that's Cindy's little granddaughter, yeah. Camille. Yeah. And, they, I mean, and I'm going to tell you, just... I know we're make, yeah, making... And I, Aunt Donna, you do so much. You always do so much, oh, though. I love to cook, though. I know you do. I know you do, that's but That's a hobby. Yeah. I know, but it's still... I mean... I so, eat with them every night, so... <laughs> I'm building a house across the street. That's okay. I'm coming. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's the the family to get together. I mean, the kids have so much fun. It's just such a memory. I mean, you don't realize like when you get older. I don't remember a gift. I don't remember anything right. anybody ever in my entire life gave me. But I remember so much family stuff. And it's so, so, so important. Yeah. And create and, and like I'm so grateful that I met you this year. And I'm so great. You know, those are such a bonus, such a plus to meet like good family, mm -hmm. good people. And y'all's family is like just the best. So I'm so I'm honored that I'm a part of y'all's family. Well, we're glad to have you. Yeah. As a part <laughs> and of I'm honored to be in there. <laughs> Lena and Henry did well. They yeah. did. They, they did. did. They really did. And um I mean, just everybody's great. So, Dad, what's our next? Is it was our video? We're going to watch all of this in live motion here now. Uh, we got a video that'll show many of the steps together. And, ladies, you can tell us what's going on. Yeah, and I'm th so okay. So, Aunt Donna, that's what I was going to okay. tell you. Aunt yes. Donna works nonstop. I never see the woman sit down ever in her life. When I'm anytime I'm around, to so tell them what you're doing. Okay, this is all the wet ingredients that go in the dough. We have nine eggs, and then there's sugar and milk and Butter and Crisco and vanilla. And you have to melt the Crisco on the stove, yeah. butter in the microwave. Yeah. You have to heat we the milk. We melt it all so it's kind of warm. It makes the dough easier to fool with. And that's Terry doing the icing. Yeah, she's doing so icing. <laughs> yeah, and they make their own icing, guys. Yeah. Wow. I know. That is good. I know, huh? So tell them what they're doing over well, they're here. Rolling the, they're rolling some dough. The dough is up there, and they're going to roll it and put... Uh, See, I'm getting another batch of the wet ingredients ready to go in the dry ingredient. And, uh, um, but they roll it out and put and the And I love how Aunt it. Donna measures everything. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I measure. I know you so, just. So. She, she does, doesn't cook with many recipes, no. but this is no. one that she does. No, no she out. knows. I mean, but like, look, she knows. It's great. Well, you got to mix it up and then you got to put everything else that goes in it. So. Yeah. So, Dad, do you have any questions? Uh, when do we eat? <laughs> <laughs> we're getting to that. Yeah, we'll get, we'll so get there. That's we'll get what there. you're getting. But you see, I'm getting the melted Crisco and the melted butter and putting it in there. But it's kind of warm, so a lot of times you've got to <laughs> use the mixer so it doesn't cook the egg mixture. Sometimes oh, I wow. forget it. Sometimes I forget it in the microwave and it gets a little too warm, you know. Okay. But I'm doing too many things at one time. Well, so no, you're doing everything. Yeah, no so one's kind of... No one's helping you. Yeah. I feel bad now. <laughs> no, we well, don't help here and there. Yeah, yeah, but you can't do, you. it's just, right. it's a one person thing. You can't, because you got to melt the, melt the butter in the microwave, then you got to heat the milk. And uh, so it just, you know, it's steps you go through. Now I'm getting, I'm getting ready to pour it into the dry mixture of the flour. So was that milk you pour, poured yes, in there? Yeah, okay, that didn't. It was heated it was milk. Warm, it was heated warm milk. So everything has to be microwave. warm. Yeah. <laughs> everything has to be warm. I didn't. Well, it just makes the dough. It just makes it, I don't know, I can't explain it. You it have to have a good dough when yeah. you're doing fig cookies. And okay. our dough, we like our dough. Our dough. We think our dough is one of the best. Well, obviously, I love it. It's very dough. good. And I see Sandra's going to. And the hands. I love yeah. the hands. Well, that, you, you, mix you can't it. mix it with anything. you got to do it with your hands. It doesn't I love do that. It mix it. I think that's amazing. But you see, now it'll be wet there, but I'm going to add flour to it till, it till it gets to the consistency that we need, you know, for it to be, to, to roll it out. Yeah, but I will add flour until she tells because she has. You have a feel for it once you start fooling with it. You have a feel for it. Do you know how much flour we went through on that day? Okay, that's a question I want to know. How much flour? <laughs> I how... bought forty eight pound. I had four twelve pound bags, so I had forty eight pounds of flour, and we had mm, maybe two pounds left in the bag. How about sugar? 
We, and the sugar wasn't. Not we don't use a whole sugar. lot of sugar. It's yeah, just, don't. I had a 10-pound bag, and we didn't use quite all of it. What about but eggs? How many eggs, eggs we had? How many did you buy? I bought a box of 60, and we had three cartons of 18, and I used almost all of them. I oh did have gosh. a few left. And we used, uh, um, we had four, six, maybe seven pounds of butter. Oh, my God. But, I mean, it takes two sticks of butter with each. You see how the dough is getting? Yes. It's getting. Look, you know, you're telling me. Yeah. Look at my mouth. <laughs> no, you were telling me about because I was asking those questions. Yeah. And you were like, no, you don't want you it see, to be it's sticky. You see, it's still a little too sticky. I probably will have to add a little more. Well, or they add more on the table. Yeah, they do add a little more. That's they, what you were telling me. She usually me puts one out and somebody tries it. Try it. Because sometimes it'll take just a little flour that you have on the on the table to, to roll it, yeah, to get and it to the right. That's my nanny rolling right That's there. That's your nanny? Okay. Yeah, that's my Aww. nanny. Oh, yeah. World's okay. best nanny. Aw. Oh. Love the nannies. Yeah, you see, it was good because my sister wrote, did it with a little bit sugar, with flour, and so it was good enough with the little bit flour we had on the table. So Yeah, she started working yeah. with it. And yeah. you see, it rolls really, it really rolls good. So now your sister is yeah. coming as part of. Yeah, well, she comes, but she doesn't eat fear cookies either, okay? Really? She's like, Mm-mm. Oh, gosh. She just comes and, To help uh, work. There's so yeah. much to do. And it's fun. Well, and she fixes boxes for people at Christmas time. Uh-huh. So she'll put some fig cookies in her boxes. You know, she makes I love the, that. Fi- uh, she makes the fruitcake cookies and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So, mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's 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 what I like getting. I love getting homemade, mm-hmm. like, baked little treats for um. But you see, we put the dough in pile, little piles, and you, you know, that's what you And you can see in the corner, they're filling their, their little strip that they um, oh, yeah. rolled out. And they just roll it over. Yeah. And look, it looks so, these ladies make it look so easy. Like the first time I did it, it was, it's hard. And like, again, Angela was fixing mine and Pearl's. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you can see, see how she's kind of rolling yeah, it? Yeah, see, after? I didn't do that to mine. See, I didn't do that. And that's why mine were looking so bad. But they'll do first. it on the table, too, the cutting yeah. table. You yeah, know? That, that's yeah. why I'm saying Angela. Yeah. I would bring mine to I mean, Angela. Nobody rolls the dough out the same thickness. Some of them are thinner and some of them are thicker. Well, when you got thicker dough, that's what makes the cookies, you know, really puff up. Yeah, I, you know, I, I like it like that, to be honest with you. Well, I, I like dough. I like the dough. Me, I like more too. Because I'll, I'll find a cookie that doesn't have much figs in it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I'm used to not like figs, but I do eat them now. But I usually find one that doesn't have a lot of figs in it. So, and you would rather eat, yeah. yeah the I like to find the end because a lot of times there's not a lot of figs on the end uh-huh. of a row, you know, on that line. Okay. There's not a lot of figs on the end. So that's the ones I take. Because There's James cutting. What is this? So there you go. There's So you can tell that's the, what's, what are they doing at this table again? They're Remind cutting. The, the roll comes to this table and then they cut. So there's so Angela. Angela fix, yeah. She's fixing it. She's yeah. <laughs> I wasn't one I gave She's you. probably barking orders, too, while she's yeah. right there. <laughs> oh, see? And they're just cutting And so, them. like, Catherine, you can see her walking out with the pan all, you know, setting it aside. Once that pan got full, then she'll, she'll get another, another pan. pan. And it's constant. That's yeah. what people don't don't realize. It is a working, it is like. Oh, yeah. We it didn't is, take a break till when we ate lunch at, yeah. what, 11, 30, 12 o'clock? I know. And, so, and then there's Dad at the oven. Yeah. He's got all the pans in there. Look at all the look at all of them cooking. He's and look, probably he, flipping them. And no, he actually oh. well not he went he, he flipped was taking them, those out taking those out. Okay. He has so many different and he knew which, which pans. Ones, yeah. yeah, he knew he kept track to all that. And look, he put the timer on. We set it for fourteen minutes. Yeah, each time. Yeah, like he knows what's. I mean, he knows how to, it's. He knows what he's doing. I know I was out talking to him and we took the volume off and I said, so what do you do? You bring it in there and what do they do? And he's like, well, they do whatever they got to do. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a cook. Huh? No. He's well, not a cook. Being married to you, I mean, who would? I but, mean... His other, but his other brothers cook, but he doesn't. I know. Which I don't one? think he can boil water. Oh, that is so funny. It's hilarious. Oh my gosh. So he brings it in. Yeah. And then... We oh, let him cool a little yeah. while and then we take him off and... Uh, Put them on the table. They have to be cool before you put the icing because right. the icing will just run off if they're not cool. Yeah, so we let them cool on the table for a while. There was a fan, and we had the air conditioner on and everything, yeah. and we had a fan so that they would cool. Yeah. Pull it off. But that yeah, that was the gist of it. Yeah. So yeah. I know. It's so cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I'm just glad I'm getting to be a part of it, and my 
My grandkids are getting to be a part of it, and Lindsay and them are getting to be a part of it. Per- yeah. Peanut had a great time, too. Remember, she didn't, she yeah. didn't come. Uh, oh, no. But yeah, she didn't want to come. That was her yeah. first time. Yeah. But now, I mean, yeah. now they're like, what are we doing the cookies? <laughs> you know? So, anyways. um, But I wanted to. But, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to show. Let me. I'm leaving. I got to get. Show the cookies. And we're going to let. Since Dad is in the hen house right now with all us ladies. He's going to uh-huh. be the uh-huh. taster. So, wait, Dad. can I, How can I show it? Oh, there it is. Look, these are the cookies that they we look made. Good. <laughs> look how good. Oh, wow. Doesn't that, that look great? That's a big cookie. That is a big that's cookie. That's one of the big ones, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these are so good. So, Dad, we're going to let you be the taster. Uh, well, if it's a fig cookie and it's made by these ladies, I'm eating it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, here, I'm going to bring you one. There you go. And you got to give us your... um. Honest opinion. Get be honest now. Yeah. It only needs one thing. What? And that's a glass, glass of milk. Of milk. <laughs> <laughs> they're great. They're great. I know. Ladies. And I have to thank Jill. Um, all my cookies are at home. And um, of course, I'm doing the show today and I didn't bring any cookies. And I didn't even like bring a platter or anything. So thank you, Jill, for you know, thinking <laughs> of all that. She I called welcome. her, she's like you have the cookies? I was like, I was on the interstate. I was like, oh, no, I don't have the cookies. We haven't left yet, though. I was so. like, thank God. I mean, I could have always went back and got them. That's but, okay. like, thank you for bringing it. And thank you for your beautiful platter to have them on. Thank and um, Angela, I know they can't see you, but thank you for coming. You're I'm welcome. really, really glad you came and you added so much. And Aunt Donna, love you. Thank love you, you for too. coming. And um, I really think people are going to enjoy this. What do you think, Dad? I think Absolutely. If they're human beings, they will like. Now, they might not like the fig cookie because they're not a fig person, but right. we can teach them how to like a fig cookie. Look, yeah. I don't think I'll <laughs> like Maybe there's hope for me. Yeah, well, look, yeah. I, yeah. It could happen. I don't know if I liked fig cookies when I was younger, but, like, I eat anything that has icing on it. So, there you oh. go. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank y'all, and um, have a safe trip home. Thank y'all for Yeah, oh, and I want to tell her before they leave, they're from Livonia. Right? Yeah, Point could be Parish. Point could be, and um, I guess that's it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to let everybody know where all this is going down in Livonia. I mean, yeah. such a beautiful place to live. So peaceful. Mm-hmm. Um, I love Wouldn't your house. Wouldn't country life for anything. No. no, you. I know you wouldn't. I mean, I, every time I come back, I'm like... I really want to live there because it's just, it's so beautiful. And I mean, quiet. it's quiet, it's peaceful, and everybody's so nice. I mean, everybody. <laughs> and they cook. And they cook. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Troy would be in hog heaven. Duty. Duty would be, uh. all of us would be in hog heaven. But anyways, all right. Well, thank you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, so much. And we'll see you. Everybody, on Monday... Oh, yeah, Monday. We have a special edition of the Honey and Harry show, and Santa Claus is coming. Santa's coming to Yes, indeed. Absolutely. (laughs) So, tune in. We love you guys. Take care.